We're here on site at the Campus Renewal Project. It's a new patient care facility for Barnes Jewish Hospital. Over the next year, we're gonna see this building coming out of the ground. Concrete will really be the major activity that we're gonna see through the end of the year and finishing in first quarter of 2024. Behind that, we're gonna see some of the skin activities as well as the fit out come up through this concrete frame as the building continues. One of the interesting things working on this project was there was a building here. So we had to dig a hole and get all of the old building out, but we went deeper. So we had to put in shoring that held up not only the dirt, but the roadway and the other existing buildings. And then within that bathtub, we had to put in the new structure. There are piers on this building that go all the way down to the bedrock, 60 or 80 feet below us. Those piers took a while to come up. We started pouring the basement, and now on top of each of those piers, we've got steel reinforcement that's inside the concrete columns you can see over my shoulder. Every time those come up, we have a floor plate that goes in. It ties it in like a big diaphragm, and those anchor to the vertical cores you see around the elevators and stairs. You can kind of think of those like your spine, and those tie together your rib cage and all the other stuff that moves around it. We'll repeat that process again and again and again all the way up the tower. You'll see it sort of takes this stair step approach as we have two active decks working at any given time. So we have two crews that are kind of hopscotching their way up the building to maintain that progress all the way up to level 17. The structure for this building is reinforced cast in place concrete. So one thing that a lot of people don't know is that St. Louis actually does sit in a seismic zone due to its position next to the New Madrid Fault. So that means that this building is ultra reinforced to maintain uh, its rigidity and structure through some sort of a seismic event. So we have a ton of reinforcing steel inside that concrete and a moment frame that resists those twisting forces that you might see in an event like that. So that the structure as we go up will be a little bit slower than usual as you would see in a structural steel frame. But what that means is that the team is working to get all that reinforcing into that concrete so that it's nice and rigid as we go up the building. So immediately behind us is also one of the columns of the building that will hold up the next floor. If you'll notice all the reinforcement, how thick it is and how far it overlaps with each other. That provides the strength that we need in an earthquake and the strength we need every day to hold up medical equipment and all the people. One of the biggest challenges we have on the job, as you can tell, we're on one of the busiest corners in St. Louis. Kings Highway and Barnes Jewish Plaza is just extraordinarily tight and the area that we have to execute the work is very, very limited. So logistics plays a huge part in how we get this building built. Coordinating the logistics with the team to moving deliveries to an off-site shift so that we can get all the materials that we need in and then all the debris out of the building in time to not affect the uh, overall schedule is an important piece of this project. While it might have appeared slow as the building came out of the ground, in the next year you're going to see this thing taking off to the sky. We're going to top out this concrete in first quarter of 24 and then start fitting out the building in preparation for the first patient in 2025.